Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish and today is another Mascara Monday. Now if you're new to my Mascara Monday, so what this is is where I pick one mascara and I do an in-depth review on it. And you guys, I give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So if that is something that interests you, just go ahead and keep watching. So for today's Mascara Monday, I am doing the a new Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Boosting Mascara. So for this mascara here, you guys, it is a waterproof formula right here, and it claims to have a volumizing, lengthening, single swipe is all it's going to take to make your lashes appear longer, fuller, and more beautiful. It's infused with a blend of castor oil, vitamin E, and vegetable collagen. Your lashes will look softer and plumper. So let's go ahead and get into it. First with the packaging, this is kind of plain to me. I mean, we've had some very pretty mascaras that I've been reviewing and this just being the black with the like heart on it is a little bit plain, but you know, it is what it is. The brush on this, if you saw my recent Get Ready With Me, then you would know I have poked my eye out with this brush. Now, having said that, the brush is not overly large on this, so once you get used to the bristles on it, it's actually not that bad of a brush. It's just not a favorite for me. I have ones that I don't poke my eye out, and that's kind of important to me. I wear contacts. I don't like things, especially sharp things, hitting my eye. So the formula of this is vegan, cruelty-free, and it is made in Mexico. So to start with, this is a very dry formula. This is dry from opening to a week later, it will stay that dry, dry formula. This formula is so dry, it actually dries on the, um, this part of the wand. I actually have a picture I will put it up to show you guys just how crusty this is getting because it dries it's just such a dry formula and it's hard to get it off the wand and this is not going to last very long just I, it's going to dry out now having said that it does have a very quick dry down on the lashes this is definitely a mascara you can put on and run out the door and not have to worry about like flaking smudging or you know transferring because you didn't let it sit long enough on it once this actually does set down it does give kind of a a little bit more than a natural look to your lashes, quite similar to the Rare Beauty mascara, and I will put up a comparison picture so you guys can judge for yourself on how close they are. Now this is waterproof, and as you can see in the um, cry test, it is definitely a waterproof mascara. This is definitely breakup proof mascara. Um, having said that, it doesn't transfer onto your fingers once they get wet, but it does kind of change the way it looks on your lashes. It's not gonna flake off or smudge off. It is waterproof, but while your lashes might look very combed through to start with, the lashes will start clumping together once this formula gets wet. So it's gonna change the look of your mascara, but you're not gonna have the running, streaking, flaking that a non-waterproof mascara is going to give you. One coat is more than enough for this one. If you do do two coats, you are gonna start getting like the little clumps um, on your lashes. And I'm talking like little teeny tiny clumps, not clumping the lashes together. And that's just because it's such a dry formula. At least that is what I think of it. The removal process of this is very easy. It comes off just with, you know, a, a eye makeup remover, a waterproof eye makeup remover. It doesn't really smudge or flake. It's not really hard to like scrub it off or anything. It, it removes relatively easily. The wear time on this, you guys, it does start flaking not bad flakes, but this mascara does start flaking. Again, I think it's because the formula is so dry. I don't know why this is such a dry formula, but it does start flaking, at least on me. After about two hours or so, it will start flaking. Also, if you get the mascara wet, it starts flaking about an hour after it gets wet. So it is something that you're going to want to clean up and possibly remove and then reapply. Again, not that it's gonna smear or look bad, but it will start flaking even worse than it does just with normal wear without it getting wet. So my final thoughts on this mascara is it's not gonna be something that I personally reach for. I don't really care for the brush on it. I actually prefer my um, 5D, 5D Whip Lash 
mascara that I just reviewed. I'll leave that linked in the cards and down below for you if you want to see that mascara. It's not a waterproof formula, but it does. I, I just like the look of it better. This is a bit too natural for me and it doesn't build up to give the drama that I personally look for. Now, if you're looking for a mascara that is natural, this might be the one for you if you need it to be a waterproof formula. However, it is dry. This is not going to last very long and it is $7.49 at Ulta, so you might just want to spend a little bit more money to get a little bit of a better formula. It's probably not a mascara I would recommend to anybody. I'm trying to think of a um, group of people I would want to recommend this to and I honestly can't just because I don't think it would be worth your money. This is going to dry out so fast. Um, they do have, it, Mascaras do typically have a six month shelf life. This is not going to last that long. Like you guys, it's already drying on the wand of it and not the wand of them what is this part called I don't know what that part's called but it's already drying on that so it does make me think that this mascara is not going to be one that is going to last very long it's going to dry out very very quickly so this I'm going to say I don't really recommend it to any so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, if you would give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, it really does help me out. And I will see you in the next Mascara Monday. Bye!